Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles Warlords of the Wasteland. Today we start scenario number 3, which is a small map called Ultimatum. The evil wizard Curl has captured the last four bards and threatens to execute them in three months unless King Tarnum disbands all his forces and surrenders. Tarnum and all other heroes are limited to level 15, but Tarnum's two strongest heroes will carry over to the next map. Alright, we have normal difficulty. Let's change that all the way up to impossible. We can choose between plus one attack or plus one defense. Plus one attack is better in all circumstances, basically. So let's take that and begin. The bards possess the history and identity of the barbarian people, but after generations of oppression, only four still lived. Knowing the importance of these wise men, the wizard Curl imprisoned them in his tower and held them for ransom. Tarnum's life in exchange for the bards. Curl has chosen his fortress well. This rugged land is difficult to navigate and several important passes are blocked by impervious border guards. Find the Keymaster tents of the same color in order to pass and do it quickly. Curl's announcement that he is going to kill the bards in three months unless you disband your troops and surrender has nearly broken the confidence of your troops. For months you have been saying how the bards and the history they hold in their tales is the secret to the freedom of the barbarian people. So, what would happen if the bards died? If you don't free them in three months, you'll soon find out. Alright then, we have Tarnum the Barbarian with some army, nice, and we have Gurnison the Barbarian with some more army and especially the Ballista. So let's have a look into the town as well, doesn't have so much, but uh, we do want to go after the Cliff Nest as much as possible, because that was a good decision last time, so I don't see why not repeat our success this time as well. Let's go and... Uh, pick up all the resources lying around, basically, uh, over here with uh, Gurnison. And also this guy can actually take that. 2000 is not bad. And pick up the remaining things as well. Also, you might want to figure out if these guys would like to join us. Yeah, 42 goblins would like to join us, excellent. So let's uh, let's ask them to join immediately, basically, right? Right, thank you very much, and pick up that gold as well, and even this... Uh... Oh, oh, so this way it was possible, this way it is not possible to pick it up, interesting. And there's the light blue border guard, and there's the light blue... Keymaster tent, so we'll need to go upgrade some units and go there, I believe. But, uh, yeah, first, uh, what can we build? We can build the wolf pen in order to build the cliff nest. And we do have enough ore. That's very nice from the map makers that they did that for us. So let's go to the next day. You shouldn't worry yourself over collecting resources and things, my king, says one of your captains. Time we don't have, so let another do that. You should concentrate on finding the Keymaster tents to gain passage to Curl's Tower. Which is exactly what we will do, but uh, with so many troops we can try to free some resources, maybe even do something in this troll bridge over here. Having some trolls would improve our chances so why not do that those rocks i will wait a little bit maybe they will want to join us as well maybe also these hobgoblins would like to join us i mean who knows right in any case let's do the cliff's nest before i change my mind uh, any heroes we have here actually some more shooters on jabarkas is not so bad also six more wolves to the five we have already is not the worst. So I don't know. I want to definitely wait until the birds are upgraded. So maybe we just go here and then you go that way. Okay, maybe you go first, okay? So 
come over here. Or you can also visit the wagon and the learning stone. I don't know, does one day less or more matter or not? I don't know. Legs of Legion is actually not so bad, believe it or not. And then extra money. Several trolls, though. I wonder. I wonder if we want to do anything about that. I mean, why not? Let's let's give it a try. We can also probably hire a few more troops. There's some money. There's some money. We need to upgrade, though. But let's 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 take all of these at least and give them to our main hero for now, including the uh, ballista. And now we have these guys. Then them. I don't know about you, but maybe something like that will be enough. I wonder. I really wonder. We'll see. So how many? Several trolls. If it's nine, it's going to be a bit more difficult, but it shouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah, it's nine. <laughs> Good job there, game. So how about we basically just protect everybody like this and start also using some magic. They have two times 40, that's 80. And I can kill one or two or... Okay, for eight mana I can kill the two. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's a good idea. Okay, and then these guys will come here. I'll kill them with them and these two will go down. Yeah, I think we just defend. Better to lose some one stacks. Oh, wow. The Ballista can do a lot of damage. I guess because they... They are now... Yeah, so good. So... Fine, Ice Bolt here, the second one, and you can all... Wait, I think... You can definitely kill... Wow, you can kill both of these, cool. And you can go away, you can do this and you can do the rest. So we lost only one, could have probably even saved that one. And then, do we want to go and hire some trolls of our own? Is that a thing or not? <laughs> they would decrease our morale a little bit, but we have expert leadership, so that's not a problem. And uh, could go there, there, also fight the rogues, and then I could go this way. Yeah, probably not such a bad idea. So let's just go there. You can pick up uh, the artifact. That's the e eagle eye artifact, right? Yeah, so we definitely don't need that. Although, uh, who knows, we may learn something. Our book is half empty, right? So, go back this way. You go here, you go here. And probably also there. We still have enough. Uh, we still have enough mana. Okay, and let's do the lightning bolt immediately. Oops, maybe not immediately. That was a stupid... Oh, wow! Holy moly! Okay, well, I'm not gonna uh, waste my resources if my ballista is so good in the meantime. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's give it a try, shall we? Yeah, look at that. Just beautiful. And they will be able to kill one, which I'm not opposed to, I guess. Yeah, 
they can kill one. That's fine. And now we take three of them for 1500. They have 40 health points, so they are good actually. They can also regenerate, so if I make one stacks of them, they could, you know, take more than one hit. However, I'll... And they are speed 7 as well. So... Hmm. They're actually the quickest units in my army, believe it or not. Oh, it's so tempting, but how much will I need? I will need 2,000 and then uh, another 2,000, so 4,000, which I will barely have next day, right? So getting these guys for a thousand and a half is not the most brilliant idea ever, right? Right, let's just do this and the turn and have a look. Time, of course, is in short supply and there is a lot of ground to cover. Hardark advises you to find someone who can teach you and your captain's pathfinding so everyone can pass quickly over this wasteland. Yeah, not the worst idea, not the best either. So, yeah, now we upgrade the cliff nest. And uh, I wonder... Now, does uh, having the same alignment help us with uh, acquiring the rocks, potentially? It might. If the other rocks would like to join us, that would be awesome. I'm not even gonna fight these guys. I do want to find out whether they are interested, though. Nine of the them, and they are in the mood to fight, so that's not so cool. Nine of them, but uh, yeah, it's not the end of the world again because we have such a good ballista, right? So come over here. Maybe if I do this, maybe I'll convince them to join me. For entertainment, you pause here for a meal and wrestling. Everyone competes, including you. It's a difficult competition, but in the end, you come out victorious, bringing the cheers of your men. It gives them the feeling that they're following the right man. Oh, great. So give me the quick guy, please. And you can keep that. And now... Oh, look at that. The creatures are willing to join us. That is, that is the difference, you know, between having visions and not having visions. Look, nine of them, just like that, that's that quadruples our army. And that's just because we took some units of the same alignment, uh, I mean, of the same type and things like that. And now, with the money that we get from here, we will also be able to um, upgrade them. And that's going to make all the difference, I can tell you that. So, Tarnum, you're going to go straight here, basically. And this guy is going to go and upgrade the units. That's going to be so sweet. Just so sweet. King Tarnum, says your advisor Harduck, I meant a man on the road with a fresh and fast horse. He says he got it from a stable to the south. We must visit this stable weekly if we are going to be able to rescue the bards before Curl's deadline runs out. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we can arrange that. But first upgrade them and that's so good upgrade the goblins as well all of them like this and this will make so much so much i mean just look at it incredible all of these can stay here they're not gonna make a difference anymore and i need to go that way you need to go and give him the army please like that and then you can stay at, in the town or maybe we can even get these hobgoblins to join us i'll try that later on but first 12 thunderbirds just like that i still can't believe it and 82 hobgoblins plus our ballista is gonna be just so awesome let's go Harduck, your advisor, says it would be wise to visit the rally flag before any major battle. It always cheers the men and boils their blood for combat. 
It's not a bad idea. How about... Oh, I can't go there. Dang it, just for the master gremlins? Okay. Well, I do want to engage them. And I'm not going back just for these guys. So let's go up to the nomads. Okay. Uh, still, I believe this is fine. Yeah. This must be fine. Start the combat. They have speed 7. Hmm. Let them come closer. Let them come closer so that the ballista has a has a nice shot. And you can block them just in case. Okay. Oh, he's not even interested in, in my bait over here. <laughs> Tricky little fella. So they have like 400. Should be fine. Perfect. Take the money, take this, take that. And probably even more money, more ore. There's a purple border guard, which I'm not so interested in, or am I? Oh, we might want to have a look. Curl's land lies beyond this border guard. You'll, so you'll certainly find him prepared for your arrival, but what choice do you have? Well, with the nine extra guys, maybe he will not be so prepared as everybody might think. <laughs> Just maybe. Okay, let him pick up this stuff and you will be faster next turn. Go over here and you have also scouting, right? So you can scout for me. That's beautiful. Um, you can, of course, do this and then maybe pick up more hobgoblins. They do want to fight, unfortunately. That's their own fault, not mine. And you can show me even more. That's beautiful. Okay, and then we go... Somebody else can do the orc tower. Uh, we can still do this, but I think we just need to open that first. We have 30 mana. I believe, I believe we do the citadel and the castle to have more birds next time. That's what I would recommend anyway. As you rein in your horse, a guard steps up to you. Welcome, I have received word of your arrival. Do you wish to pass at this time? Yes, I do. And there's going to be a fight with Arch Magi. Now these guys... We will split into four, three stacks for them. I think that should be good. And a glorious victory with, with no losses uh, proves me right. So that's pretty good. Next turn then. Once again, good advice comes from Hardak. He suggests you train your captains well, even if all they're doing is picking up resources, it's always good to keep skilled leaders at your side, especially in the battles ahead. And yes, we will choose a second captain. I don't know who it will be. Not Oris. Maybe Jabarkas, because he always starts with some shooters. But if I can get uh, hmm, the guy with tactics or the guy with haste or the guy with logistics, I would probably prefer those. Also, we can't do a castle because we don't have enough ore, which is not the end of the world. The ore maybe can be can be obtained here somewhere. So let's move this guy first. Visit this, visit this. Oh, I do want to hire them. And put them over there. Okay. And can you get any... I think on day 7 you can pick this up. We'll pick up the lumber. 
but nothing else. I'm looking for ore. Can't see any. Okay, so we'll need uh, some... Let's say two stacks right here. Yes, that was enough. Okay, oh, there's ore over here. Okay, so let's pick up the money and the ore. Which gives us the ability to build a castle. Perfect. Uh, not uh, anything else, basically. So let's continue and pick up a few more resources. Maybe even more ore there. Perfect. And I'll stay here, make myself quicker. And see what happens next. Day 6, end of the turn. Right. Day 7. We can do the Orc Tower, which is not a bad idea on day 7. And uh, you, Gurnison, will be able to bring us more troops. So, do you want to do this first or do we do something else? There is a several Cyclops Kings uh, in front of us. But with 6 and 6, we might be able to do that. Maybe even with 3 stacks. Who knows? Who knows? That's a good question. I think 2 stacks will be enough for now. So take that and then, then simply go. Yeah, three, 2 stacks should be fine. Stand back, little man. This is Cyclops gold. Not for your petty little war, shouts the Cyclops king who guards this mine. There's six of them and they are positioned well enough for me to attack. So let's start. Three times seventy is two ten. So I can either bless or help with a little bit of with a little bit of uh, magic. Ah, oh, 35. I mean, they didn't do much damage, so the ballista can finish them off, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, part finding. Uh, I'll take the advanced tactics. Thank you very much. Okay, can you reach the gold mine? No. Hmm. Maybe I can, you know, start picking these things up and uh, still go forward. Actually, I'll stay here on day one. I'll get more and maybe then I hire another hero next week. Yeah, that's probably what I should do. I will not get the bonus with Tarnum or will I? Because I mean, it is, I think it is like 600 or 400 per day. So it's not bad. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll do it actually, but I will also, I will also fight the boars. for the gloves and maybe maybe even do this oh, that's really pushing it but okay and here and here and uh, yeah go as far as possible and be quicker right that's that's what we want to do Oh, and you can't use the legs of Legion, unfortunately. Well, that sucks. But okay, what's done is done. Next turn. And look, we have already 2.9 from everything we have. And we'll have even more once we have the stables. So this is really good. Uh, give everything to this guy, including them. Keep this guy to you and then stables of course yeah what else and uh, maybe this so that we have a bit more money for another hero who would be 
Krellian or Gerd? I'm not really happy about either of the two. Mm. But I want the six birds, that's for sure. Okay, who has the bigger army? 21-7 or 22-6-4? I think it's Gerd then. You can leave these guys be. Take the six birds and build a whole of a build a marketplace. Upgrade the goblins and I don't know. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah, that's about it. Take the remaining goblins or we use this for city hall and things like that because I already have more than enough. Yeah, I have more than enough. So let's go straight for the stables. Uh, you, by the way, have to go there as well. So that's how much? 2.9. With this you will have 3.3. .3, so that's uh, 400 per week per day. Okay, very good. 100 goblins and uh, 18 birds is more than enough, right? Now we go. We need uh, the dragonflies. Okay, so let's go here. And let's probably do the genies first before we go to the dragonflies. I do want to fight them, do want to have a look. We'll have the other guy check the witch's hut, probably, for us. Do this as well, you can make yourself quicker. Okay, and you go check out the witch's hut. Perfect, next turn. Okay, first, the witch's hut. It has basic pathfinding, interesting. I don't know if I will need that or not, because our units don't suffer the penalty. But maybe we'll have some other units later on and we'll need that, so I don't know. Hard to say. Let's pick up all this junk. Pack of these guys. Oh, I totally forgot my army, haven't I? Okay, but we should be able to do it with just the army I have on me. That's just a thousand. That's fine. I mean, I could even go back there, but I wanna now open the green thingy and I want to do it with this hero actually as well, because, because. Do I need to return for my army? I don't. Do I need anybody else to return anywhere? I want the expert tactics leveled up before I pick up the pathfinding. And they told me I should take pathfinding. So maybe they envisioned that we'll be fighting in snowy lands later on. Which is probably possible, right? So, yeah. I guess I could go and do the Cyclops cave now as well. Should have done it before. Can definitely do also a few ancient behemoths. Yeah, those nine birds over there. Such a game changer. Don't have this. But I'll do the Cyclopes after, you know, maybe I can even convince them to join me. We are only at the beginning of the second week. So there's... There's a lot more potentially to to come. I'll I'll just I'll just go and uh, pick my army here as well um, at next turn, and you can you can do what.
You can stay here or he can stay there because he has uh, the scouting. So yeah, I'll probably want him to stay there and you can go back to the town. This guy stays in the town. We probably need a mage guild. We probably need a cyclops cave, which needs an ogre fort. But uh, yeah, let's let's go for some money at least. Hmm, Dessa might be the hero that comes with us. I'll think about it. How fortunate, my king, says Harduck. He goes on to tell you that there is news from town in the discovery of the nest of rocks. A small boy got lost in the mountains, so the entire clan organized a search party. When they found the child, however, he was hiding safely in a rock's nest. It took some convincing to get the boy away from the motherly birds, but all is well. And with a small expense, the rocks could be tamed for your army. The ancestors are looking after you. Oh, ho, 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 wow. Yeah, so the game really wants to make it easy on us, which I am not unhappy about, I have to say. That's just fine. So you are going this way, yes. And you may... No, I would like the... Fine, at least the basic one I'll give to you as well. Uh, and then you can stay here. For now, um, Tarnum, do not forget your army now, okay? We still need you on the other side. We have 35. I want to know if they want to join me now or not. Let's go have a look. Visions. Eight Cyclopes will flee before us, but maybe if I have some Cyclopes of my own, they will be willing to join us. So, how about we try that? Unfortunately, I can't make it all the way, which is fine. You and you come closer. Perfect. And then what do we need? A blacksmith. I'll do the Hall of Valhalla first, so that he can uh, get uh, plus one. Next. Go in, get the plus one, get maybe, I don't know, something here. And then... Day four. Okay, let's go for the city hall. Upgrade them as well. And maybe now is the time to go here, right? First for for the... But they are also, well... Yeah, sure. But uh, with 18 like that... Let's go. Nice. And they are speed 6. So that's not great, but... I'll take them anyway. Here in the pyramid, uh, we can't learn, of course, the um, spells, but we can... We can get experience and maybe even 2,000, who knows. So, we have 18 birds. Oops, and of course, I wanted more than 18 birds. I have five more here. Can I make it? All the way to this guy? Maybe. Yeah, just about. Okay, so bam and bam right there. Save these. And we have 23 birds that should do the trick. I believe Gerd, you're fine. Tarnum, go this way. This is like uh, 40 gold golems and 10 diamond golems or something like that, right? So yeah, we should be able to do that. Also, we might actually level up some guy with a uh, with a wisdom 
like uh, this over here and this uh, could potentially get a very sweet level 5 spell. Now that is that is absolutely possible, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder. Wouldn't that be almost like cheating? I guess so. So let's let's do it ourselves. It's 40 and 20, not 10. Okay. And they do this funny little arrangement. Okay. I am a little bit surprised. Not crazy surprised, but a little bit surprised. So 10 times it's 600, we can kill all of them, or 14 times 50 is also about 600. Yeah, we can kill each uh, stack with uh, our master stack, basically. Okay, let's do... Yeah, the 14. Sure, probably need to split them a little bit. So let's uh, kite one away. So how many can you kill? If I bless you, you can actually kill almost all of them, right? That's 600 and you do 600 damage, yes. So kill them, please. You are going to be very helpful as well. Okay, now you can kill the 10. And you can also kill the 12. And now we can wait because these guys cannot do anything, right? I want them to come up. So how about we also go up like that? Perfect. Nice. And 13 times 50 is 500 plus so 650. So you can kill them. And you can kill them. And we lost just one. Excellent. Do we need basic resistance? I don't think so. Let's take the advanced armorer. Upon defeating the monsters, you decipher an ancient glyph on the wall, telling the secret of the spell Magic Mirror. Unfortunately, you do not have the wisdom to understand the spell and you are unable to learn it. And uh, that's good because I was uh, worried that it would be implosion and I missed something uh, important. But no. And these guys can be killed easily. Nice. And do the seven first and the four next. Excellent. How much for another level? 26, 28. Yeah. We do not have that much gold, so I'll probably just open this and not do anything else. So you have learned the pathfinding already. Yes, you have. Oh, and you have also the legs of Legion. That sucks. <laughs> too late to think about it too much. That is nice. Now which way to go next? I think I'll go this way. Oh, and there's the red one already. Okay. So the throng of this Guys, should not be a problem at all. The soldiers ahead fly Curl's banner, no doubt the unit left behind to protect something important. As you approach, they raise their halberds and prepare for battle. They will obviously fight to the last man, fearing the wizards more than your army. 
well, what should I say? You should feel me, fear me more. Because I am the bad guy here. Okay, take that. And this means I can open this already. And pick that up. Pick this up. Go and explore some more. Looks good. There's the purple one already. Okay. And then I may want uh, some orcs to join me. What do you think? Do they want to join me? I do not have any orcs on me. But I can bring some more orcs if I hire Dessa. So come on, Dessa. Uh, we don't have enough for that, but I will want ogres anyway. And 16 of them might just do the trick. I'm not gonna hire more. Can you go all the way? Kinda. So Dessa. Go here and uh, give everything to Gert. Probably even the two Cyclopes could help convince them somehow. And then take that. Yeah, perfect. Give everything to him. So them and them and make one slot uh, empty. Okay, and you can even do this, basic leadership, why not? And then you, I don't know yet. And with all this army, we can try to convince the pack of orcs. No, fine, you get killed because of that. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh. Well, I guess we'll lose somebody. Unless we can... Probably not. We can do magic arrow, but that feels like a waste. So... Let's kill the six here, get morale. Oh yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Now that's exactly what I was looking for. You defend, you kill the rest. Okay, diplomacy. That's not a bad skill. You, one could say it's almost broken, but uh, this is a tutorial campaign anyway, so I'll take diplomacy because it's fun. <laughs> it's definitely fun. Okay, take this and then probably go even for the ancient behemoths. There's only a few of them. We can slow them down if, ne if necessary. The murderous gleam in the eyes of these ancient behemoths tells you they are under some sort of spell. Obviously, Curl didn't want you to claim the gold from the mine and protect. Four of them, ouch. Okay, so let's hide the shooters and these guys. One, two, and three. You will have to stay there somewhere and then start the combat and let's see what happens. More or less, you can do very little damage. So I think we'll need to blind one or two to have the best chance. Okay, we almost killed them. Right, and you can kill two. So, hmm. Kill this guy. Then kill that guy. And they kill only one, right? So. We should easily be able to take care of the rest. And this guy will just die. Oh no. 
the ballista. The ballista can defend fine, otherwise it will be a disaster actually. And this should be it. No losses, yay! That's how we like it. Okay, let's put this guy in. That's all right. And now we can go away. Can take the mercenary camp. It's day five, so maybe we can even build something. I wanted to build a cyclops cave. Oh, we did. We do have the cyclops cave, right? I, I did take it, yes. So now we need 20 ore, 20 crystal and some money. Okay, I think we can do that. So first of all, some resources. That's all right. No other resources available. There's a pack of giants. So there might be some nasty titans there as well. Naga queens and stuff like that. Not too easy. But hopefully not too difficult either. How are we doing on time? 46 minutes. I think uh, I think I should probably make a break here because it will take me more than 15 minutes to finish this and uh, I don't want the second episode to be too um, too too short either. So I don't know. So what do we, what were we missing here exactly? Some ore. Do I have a trading post or do I have any ore lying around? On day seven, I will get uh, two more. So I just need I just need to exchange for two and build something that does not require uh, like the city hall. Right, so build the city hall now and on day seven we'll build the Cyclops cave. Yes. Let's actually continue to do that before I forget in the next episode, okay? So for now we go for the lots of wolf raiders and they will be uh, together. Oh, I do accept. It's even, even a better result. And then we can fight some of these guys. That's not bad. But I would like uh, to not have any of these, I believe. Tarnum. 19 mana, 5 to 9 behemoths. They are not upgraded, so should be easier than their colleagues. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's fine. You can actually kill two and then somebody else can kill the others. Yes, okay, so speed 10, speed 12. Something like this. Okay. And now the question is, can you kill them? Up to 516, which doesn't kill them. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, and you can do decent damage. You could do decent damage to them and then they can kill them. How about that? So now they have 370, which we should be able to do, right? Yes. Excellent. Just, just beautiful. That's what we like to see. Good, one lost. And we can use this monolith to actually go back here, believe it or not. We are even too quick because on day one I want to get more uh, stuff, so I'll not go there just yet. I'll just pick up some stuff. Uh, go here. Um, you know, Gert can pick up some resources for me and 
make me quicker, right? I mean, day seven, I will have to spend the whole day seven somewhere. Is there anything I haven't done yet? No. So, okay, so let's, let's just go there immediately. Um, like this, Tardum can move. Right? Through here. Yeah, that's fine. Gert follows closely. And you? You can hire more Cyclopes and then come back and then we hire another hero and bring them here and then maybe try to uh, convince these guys to be helpful. Oh yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be all right. <laughs> so this is fine. I'll end the turn. Yes. And now let's not forget, can I get any ore? I don't think I can. So we need to now exchange for that ore. We need, uh, well, we don't need too many of these resources. I think we need a little bit of gems. We may not need all that. Okay, fine. Five gems as well. And that gives us exactly a Cyclops cave. Look at us. Wow. And that's two more of them and four more. Yeah, we will totally convince the other guys. We will totally convince the other guys as well. So go through here and then basically just uh, stay there. Oh, wow. An ambush. Look at us. As you approach a magical idol of fortune, the ground surrounding it shimmers like a desert horizon. The bushes, trees and rocks become the troops of your enemy. An ambush. And yeah, they are pretty persistent. Fortunately, I am not afraid. Okay, let's take it now and go here and basically stay there. And then this guy, so Gerd can go through as well, or, or Gert can stay here and Dessa can go down. Can that be the play? I think that can be the play. So Dessa goes down, stays there, and Gert go. Oh no, that's, oh yeah, that, that sucks. I messed it up. <laughs> I've messed it up, but no worries. We'll figure it out eventually. The important thing is I have not, uh, so they all go there and there and maybe maybe Dessa can hire something quick. No, uh, but at least go like there maybe. You, uh, wow, I don't know. Is this uh, full of units? It is. Okay, so come closer as well. You stay, and we have built everything, we have six uh, with the castle, and that is the time to call it a day. And we'll be back uh, in the next episode, it might be shorter, might not, who knows, but uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye!